Hello, I'm going to be doing a video of my entire tarantula collection. I currently own 19, so that's not very many compared to some other enthusiasts out there. Um, but I do have them in alphabetical order. Um, so we're going to start with the Acanthoscuria brocklehursti. And here is my sling. It's about 1.5 inches. And as you can see, I believe this one is in pre-molt. But this is the enclosure. It's just a little bitty critter keeper here. And a little bitty bottle cap is a water dish. And some leaves to hide in and burrow in if it feels like it. But most of the time it stays out. Um, but uh, this is one of my favorite tarantulas. So there's the first one. And she, uh, she can kick hairs, and she's done it, he or she, I don't know the gender yet. I might be able to tell in the next molt or two, but, uh, yep, yeah. there she is. So that's the first one. So I'm going to shut this up and show you my next one. Next tarantula is another Acanthoscuria. It is the Acanthoscuria genicolata. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. A little bit more in the light here. But yep, just a half inch sling. Probably my best eater of all of my slings. These grow up to be really huge. Uh, so this will probably end up being my third largest tarantula in my collection that I will have once they're all fully grown. And again, I just have some eco-earth substrate and uh, just some leaves to hide under, fake leaves. But uh, there's that one. Canthoscuria genicolata. <coughs> Next one is an Aphonopalma simani. Let's see. This one is uh, more of a burrower compared to my other slings. But this one likes to dig tunnels, as you can see. But, uh, yep, yeah, same thing fake leaves and. Uh, eco earth substrate. And yes, this is my burrower of all of my slings. A phonopalma, a phonopalma simani. Costa Rican zebra. There's that one. <clears throat> and go back in your little burrow. <clears throat> now we're going to start with the brackies. again another critter keeper and as you can see this one likes to uh, block its entrance way here and the other side is where you can actually see the tea but we'll see if I can fish her out so you can have a look at her I don't like ruining their hard work but they can fix it again Excuse me just a second. I kind of fish her out of here with as little damage as possible here. Come on, baby. Show the people you're beautiful. Well, you're not like beautiful, but you're cute. <laughs> you're not very colorful, but we won't hold that against you because you're cute. I love the curly hairs on this tarantula. This is a uh, one another 1.5 inch sling. <clears throat> and there she be. Brachypalma abapolosum. They are so adorable with their curly hairs all over their body. And I believe this one's also in pre-molt. Uh, 
This will be probably this will probably be my most handleable tarantula in my collection, if not the bee smithy. But I bet it'll be this one. All right, I'm gonna put he or she back into their enclosure. Come on now, there you go. Whoop. All right, I'll close your door for you. There you go. <coughs> and since I'm here, I'll give you a little water in your water dish. I have is the Brachypoma bomi, and of all the brachies, uh, this one's my favorite. Again, this is another very good eater. Uh, it's a half-inch sling, and the reason why I like the bomi more than any of the other brachies is because uh, my favorite color is red, and I just I love the reddish orange colors. Um, all over their legs. I just, I just think it's the most beautiful. But that's my Brachypoma bomi, Mexican fire leg. All right. Enough of that one. <clears throat> my next Brachy is my newest addition to my collection. We'll get her out so you can have a good look at her. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> That's my Brachypoma Smithy. Mexican Red Knee. 1.5 inches. And as you can see by the bare abdomen, this one is a hair kicker. Like most brackies. And there's the enclosure. It's got a water dish with pebbles in it and fake leaves and the substrate. But yeah, I can't. This is my second favorite bracky. I'm so glad to have one of these. Alright, let me gently put he or she into its enclosure. There you go, sweetie. Come on now. Get in there. Get in there. At your home. There you go, baby. <clears throat> Alrighty. And I have one more bracky. This one's a very good eater. You've probably seen this one in a lot of my feeding videos. If you've watched them. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There we go. Um, she stays in her cave most of the time. But, you know, she does venture out. But let's take a look at her. And uh, she is uh, definitely on the skittish side. There she is. She has flicked hairs and she's also given me a threat posture. Uh, so I rarely handle this one. The only time I've seen this one docile was when it was in pre-molt. And I really don't like to handle them when they're in pre-molt anyway. At least very little. But uh, yeah, most of the time I do not handle this one because this one is very skittish. Probably one of the most skittish in the, with the Brachypomas. But Yep, Brachypomas uh, Vagans. Mexican red rump. Let me see if I can carefully put this back down without getting bitten. Alright, end of part one. <laughs>